Hey guys, what's up? Deck here. Welcome back to the channel on Deck Arcade. We are actually here playing Arcade Paradise, which is a simulator game where you start off in a laundromat and you slowly build an arcade out of the laundromat. So we're going to go ahead and hit new game. Hopefully this runs good. Uh, the last time I tried to record this, it got all stuttery. I love this art style though. Kind of reminds me of the Tony Hawk games. Or maybe like a. Uh, What's that called? Jet Set Radio? So I am currently playing in 4K. I have set it to downscale to 1080 because I've been having issues with playback. So hopefully that helps. I have also turned it off of exclusive full screen mode and it is currently running in window. So hopefully that helps with it as well. Hey guys, if you want to help me out, hit that subscribe button. And let me know, uh, what do you think about this uh, border around the webcam? I got it set up, so I took the like wallpaper of the game and put it around this little border. And I put my logo right there, and I got the game's logo. I think that would be, uh, it's pretty cool. Because you don't have to look at the title now to see what game I'm playing. And it kind of matches the... Uh, looks hello Ashley this is your father calling welcome at long last to the real world and real responsibility King Laundry was among my first investments in Grindstone not an important one honestly I'd forgotten about the dump but with shrewd management perhaps even an ungrateful and capricious teenager like you can make it a success it's kind of an asshole thing to say Let's go over the basics one more time. Pay attention. First, take a basket of laundry and load it into an empty machine. All right. Remember, time stood idle is time wasted. Maintenance and cleaning are your responsibility. Any trash, pick it up and dispose of it. There's a dumpster around the side of the building. All right, time to pick up some trash. So this game starts off a little bit slow, but then it kind of speeds up from there. Can't go in there yet. Okay. see get that money you got other things like pick up trash uh, you get gum off the equipment and then taking out trash and you do get money from all of that the only thing is we we're washing the clothes for a very long time because you put them in there for three minutes but a minute in the game is like an hour in the game or a minute in real life is like an hour in the game so this stuff is actually like three hours of being in it alright fixing broken machines Collecting trash and unclogging the toilet will help maintain your business reputation. Your watch or PDA will sometimes alert you to jobs that need attending to. Alright. Cool. Toilet defeated. Take them out and place them ready for the customer to collect. 
just in the tutorial they speed it up so you don't have to wait the three minutes because then a lot of people are going to drop off their clothes oh this is the only laundromat i've seen where uh they do all the clothes for you and you don't have to do it Yep. Yep. Don't cut corners. Yep. Look, Ashley. I know at your age, garment sanitation hardly seems glamorous. But nothing in life comes free. For once, for once, show me you're capable and that you can be trusted. Otherwise, all right. Let's pick up all this no, trash. The packing plant always needs fresh meat. And fix the toilet. <laughs> Sometimes your watch will alert you to important events. Go to the office and turn on the PC. Oh, yep. Alright. Chat box. Alright, so I guess this is the sister. Alright, so we play a 19 year old, it seems. Uh, let's see. Anything tidy, play game shop. Maybe even gasp. Earn some cash. Have you even dropped the machine hoppers yet? Hoppers. The things that catch the coins. As long as the laundromat's open, you'll be studying making money. But you have to empty the coins from the machines. Do it now. Go around. Gather all the coins and put them in the safe. See how much you got. Alright. Well, we need to open that back up. So we gotta crouch with B and then grab the hoppers. Okay. So we got this. For some reason, you can't do the vending machine hoppers, but that's whatever. Alright, and there's only one more. Okay. Why is that still here? Oh, yeah. Perfect. Only money placed in the safe can be spent. Got more chat messages. Oh my gosh, I emptied them. And... Holy cow, there was an absolute fortune in the arcade cabinets. I mean, they probably even maxed out for a long time, right? Bought them years ago for the customers. Dad loved the idea, but I thought they'd have a certain appeal. So you can actually change how difficult the machines are. And that's going to give you a little bit of a boost in cash. Or it can lower the cash. Uh, let's see. World World Web from Arcadia. I'll find you the details. Alright, cool. Yep, don't remind me. Buy a couple new cabinets first. Fill the space. Alright, cool. So we're going to go ahead and buy Strike Go. Cool. Well done. Your new machine will be delivered tomorrow morning. Sounds good. Business is open from 8 a.m. until 11 p.m. You will generate profit while you're on the premises. You can check the time on your watch by holding select. You can continue working, play some games for end of the day by heading to the bus stop opposite the King Wash. Alright. Also, uh, this game, I'm not sure if it still is, but it was on Game Pass. And I played it on Game Pass and it's, I liked it. So I had to buy it on Steam as well. And it cost, I got it on sale, I think it was like six bucks, eight bucks. Um, I don't think the game is more than like $15. Maybe 20, but I think it was around 15. All right, here's gum. So that gave us 20 bucks right there. So that's pretty good. Now we gotta wait for those machines. All right, nothing's in there. All right, so that's two fifteen. 
Go back over here. There's one. We gotta try to get as much money as we can by that second arcade machine. Uh, see, I got 71, so I got 171 total. It's a minute 40. So we got some time to kill, so we're gonna go ahead and play the arcade machine for a minute. So I think this is like a Pac-Man GTA. in time. Oh, yep. I was love to catch me. You can hit them with like the little boombox laser things and they start dancing, but there's no point. So what gold did I hit? Oh, yeah, here. So... This isn't it. To-do list is, I guess, the goals. But, okay, you got our crate management, racer, uh, and then I go to manage settings. So, you can see down below, it says overall popularity, place per hour, and income per hour. I only look at the income per hour, so that's 318. All right, let's increase the difficulty, so that's 351. Increase it again. And it looks like 351 is going to be the most we're gonna get so we'll close that one out video air hockey so it looks like 68 increase is a dollar increase again so it's a dollar fifty so we'll go ahead and do that and then wood gals adventure so it's a dollar fifty yeah do it again go back to the original okay so dollar fifty That should be good. Let's see how much more time we have on here. Oh, it's done. We're going to throw this in the wash. And we're going to start throwing these over into the dryer. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to have each episode, uh, at least for the beginning, be one day. Because I believe these a day last about 20-25 minutes. But it might be a good way to actually have the update. At least at the beginning. Because, you know, if we get to a point where it starts getting slower or the days go faster, uh, we can go ahead and increase it. I might end up, uh, once we start getting less of this actual busy work done, I might go ahead and do like a little montage or whatever of like two or three days. And just kind of montage it down into a uh, 25 minute episode. It just kind of depends. Because, you know, if it's on, if I'm not unlocking anything or if you're not saying anything new, it might be a little boring. But it is a relaxing game, so. Ends up being whatever you all like. Let's see, 17. Place closes at 23. We tried that. Let's do some air hockey real quick. Alright. Damn it. 
Cool. that time. Damn it. Damn it. Alright, cool. I think next point wins. Or I think it's to five. Sweet! Awesome. Oh, we got another basket. Alright, so that's 30. That's just done. Go ahead and pull this out. You get different rankings depending on how fast you do this. Um, I think like C is the worst. It's like five bucks. So it was like five, ten, twenty, and then like thirty if you get S. I think it's like thirty for S, twenty for A, uh, ten for B, five for C, something like that. If you run out of your actual stuff. Like if you run out of time on it, and you have to leave it overnight, it will just be five dollars. Two oh one and two thirteen, and they close in a few hours. Let's try to make sure I don't miss the baskets appearing. Okay, so most of the games are actually, they don't keep progress. I think this one does though. Because you get bridges built and all that stuff as you go on. Alright, cool. Uh, Alright, five, hell yeah. Get rid of these. Get rid of those. But now there's little slimes attacking everywhere. Every time we defeat the slime, a red slime will give us like a red star. And we need three of them to unlock that bridge. And that will stay unlocked. Alright, got another great. to get the other chocolate cake thing. Alright, cool. that is I wanna fuck it up Turn on the ground 24 seconds all right it's not closed yet I don't think we should get another basket because then we won't be able to finish it I 
think also this like little town evolves as the game goes on. So like the buildings get bigger, billboards and all that kind of stuff. Just some cool shit. As we like increase the place. You know we're gonna add more arcade machines. There is DLC that gives you some arcade machines. Which it's cool. Uh, I'd rather kind of finish the story and then buy all the art DLC arcade machines. That way it's not like cheating through the story. Okay, 11 o'clock. They stop getting money. Sometimes that one does for some reason. 26, 11, 13... Alright, we're not going to get that much money, though. Okay, so we got 23, 26. Hmm. I didn't mean to click on this, but we'll play it. Damn. One more time. One more time. Yeah. I am a god. That's fine. Alright. So we can only get like 30 more bucks. So that's going to be 336. Plus we got 71. That's not enough for another arcade machine, unfortunately. We'll be right at 400. We'll be 100 short. The e buy uh, little emblem on the bottom of the screen. When you go to this and you got to-do list, you got like actual like challenges. Like get so far in a certain game, uh, do a certain amount of clothes or whatever, or uh, trash and stuff like that. And it gives you like euros or pounds or whatever they are. And it lets you buy upgrades. The upgrades are like you get an assistant that empty out all the hoppers for you. You can get a better safe so you don't have to put in a little dial every time. It's a, uh, it's a digital code instead. There's different things like that. Uh, you pick up less trash, but you still make more money. Uh, the bathroom, I think, breaks down less often than that, this, that shit. In use. Come on, come on. Oh yeah. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and throw this in the safe. You don't do that left, right, left thing like you can do with most safes. Ours is kinda busty, you just keep turning it until it snaps. Alright, cool. Uh anytime you wanna end the day you just come to this bus stop. And talk to this poster or you can just hit start and hit quit i'm actually going to end it there i hope you guys enjoyed hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and uh have you played this game what do you think about it let me know down in the comments below uh peace out see ya